Good morning, sir. Good morning, sir. Fine. I hope uh, everyone done with the pattern programs, right? So, any doubts? Any doubts? No, sir. I have shared already. Uh, we asked some few programs, so that programs also I have already shared, right? Yes, sir. <laughs> Okay, fine. So today we'll start with the uh, operators, right? So I have already written something related to operators, right? So what is operators, the use of operators in programming? Any idea? The use of operators in programming. Is to perform operations on values. Operators are used to perform some different kind of operations based upon the input data, right? So in all the programming language, uh, we are having some different types of operators. In Python also, we are having some different types of operators. So in Python, we are having seven types, major categories like arithmetic, logical, relational or comparison, and then assignment, membership, identity, and then bitwise operator. Okay, so usage wise, uh, I have uh, categorized this operators. So mostly we'll be using this arithmetic, logical, comparison, and assignment operator. Rare cases we'll be using this bitwise. Okay, and then like some 30 to 40 percent we'll be using this membership as well as identity operator. Right? Fine. What is what is arithmetic operators? Everyone are able to understand, right? So operators in the sense there are set of some op operands are present in the operators which is used to perform some operations, basic operations, right? Fine. So first we are going to discuss about arithmetic operators. So arithmetic operators means what? Addition, subtraction, and multiplication. This is arithmetic operation. Related to mathematics, right? Yeah, yes. Right. So we are having some operands related to arithmetic operations like addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, flow division, modulus, and power, okay? So let me explain this uh, operators first, to how the input will be, uh, will be taken and then how the output will be processed and everything I will show you. So before that, I written some uh, set of instruction to do this, instruction in the sense like, which will allow, okay? Which will allow us to perform the this specific uh, addition, subtraction, multiplication operations, okay? So for example, addition in the sense, okay, we can able to perform single value plus single value data type. That means integer plus float, float plus integer, or integer plus integer, integer plus com plus, com plus plus float. Like that, we can able to perform only in single value data type with another single value data type, okay. And then second use case, second we can perform with collection value. That means sequence data type plus sequence data type we can able to per perform. For example, string plus string, it will be called a string concatenation, which will be used with the addition symbol, string concatenation, and then list also we can able to add it, okay, to list we can able to merge it, okay. So these things you need to remember, you need to keep it in your mind, okay. Then only while writing the logic in the application development or any other automation development, you can able to understand based upon the input, okay. So this is the input type I am getting. So if I perform arithmetic addition operation in the sense, I can able to perform only within the uh, this kind of uh, data types. Okay, so single value means single value only, collection value means collection value only. I can able to perform it. Okay, that you need to remember. Are able to understand what I'm telling? Yes, sir. Right. Clear, right? Any doubt? Fine. No. Let me show you the basic example for this. Uh, directly, I'm going to take. Okay. So this is you already may. Uh, let me take one plus five j. Okay. What will happen now? What will be the output I will get? So what I perform? Integer plus complex. Automatic operation. 11 plus 5 J's. 11 plus 5, 5 J. J. Right? 
so because only it will add with the real number it won't consider the imaginary part okay imaginary part will be the static part when you are performing this operation clear you can see the output 11 plus 5j likewise you can perform the any things okay addition you no need to work out because it's a basic thing which we are doing in calculator itself like basic case okay no need to execute also first uh, for your understanding i'm just uh, representing these cases okay this will be maximum similar data type don't change with uh, string with list list with string okay it might sometime it won't work okay you can see the concatenation part how it is uh, integrated merged okay string plus string automatically it's a string concatenation adding of two string values clear likewise you can try for list tuple set dictionary any values you can try it and then you can check it out whether we are getting output or not whether we are able to perform that combinations or not you can able to check it clear yes sir, yes, sir. Fine. coming to subtraction subtraction means always in numbers only integer float or complex only in the numbers we can able to perform subtraction things okay no need to execute that case also and then coming to multiplication so multiplication in the sense here also i have mentioned some combinations like number into number collection data type into single value and then single value into collection these combinations will work okay these things both are same i just uh, uh, rechange the directions okay these things both are same okay fine <clears throat> Now tell me, number into number means like anything, like integer into integer, float into integer, anything you can able to perform it. Okay, likewise collation into number, like okay. instead of number into thing, I'm just taking collection data type. You need to use star symbol. Okay, symbol will be star. Okay, I'm just taking it as 10. <clears throat> what will be the output I will get now? Sample will be printed 10 times. Sample will be printed ten times. Sample will be printed ten times, right? I'm just executing it. You can yes, see, sir. right? Are you able to see this? Yes. Everyone able to understand this, right? This is basic operations. Yes, sir. Clear. Any doubt? Okay. So, likewise, you can perform this multiplication. Uh, what you need to do means try with all the data types. Okay, don't try simply single data. Type. Try with all the data types and send me the screenshots. Okay. If it is output also, no output also, error also, automatically. Take the screenshot and send it to me. Okay, try for completely arithmetic with all the operators, then go for next operator. Okay, so fine. Coming to division, division means always in numbers. Okay, so here in Python division, it will rep, uh, return the output as float values. It will return the output as float values. Why so means like we are having uh, some separate, separate data type called floor division. Okay, so that floor division will return always in uh, whole number. So in, uh, here, to differentiate that division and flow division, we are having this output as decimal values. Okay, if it is divided whole value means then also it will give you the output as decimal value 5.0. Are you able to see this? Yes, sir. Okay, only in numerous complex division also possible. You may know in mathematics complex division formula is there, uh, which will be performed with some uh, different kind of uh, equation right so that automatically can take for example let me use this here on plus 2j okay so same here i'm dividing it with 2 plus 2j okay you can see i'm just executing it with this you can able to understand how the division is performed clear this is uh, no need to uh like what you don't need to manually work out automatically your system will take care of these cases okay so now coming to the floor division so what is floor division is in same it will perform the division operation but it will take only the whole number from the output it won't uh, take care of the decimal values okay for example if after the point if you're having some values also it won't take it will take only the 
whole numbers okay here we are having some data loss in flow division operation we are having some data loss because the division means it will divide the whole value properly and it will give you the proper output okay with decimal also without decimal also whole number also okay but in flow division if you are performing that division in the sense it will omit that decimal values then in this case the decimal values are lost for us the decimal values are lost for us okay so always try to perform this flow division operation wherever you are having proper integer structures okay only there you can able to perform it whichever the things it is possible to divide it fully okay without any uh, uh, remainders or without any decimal values which are going to possible to divide fully then only you can use this flow division otherwise use division okay because some data loss will occur in the flow division operations clear so let me use the same case uh, flow division here okay uh, for example 10 divided by 3 10 flow division double slash you need to use the flow division operator is double slash you need to use clear so let me use this double slash here so you can see what will the output i will get now three sir i'll be able to get only three because actual output is 3.3 actual seven. output Actual output will be 3.33 something, right? That is your actual output, yes, right? But in flow division, it will, it won't take the decimal values. It will return only the specific uh, whole numbers. Understood? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Any doubt? Any doubt, guys? Till now. No sir. No sir. No sir. No doubt, right? Okay. <clears throat> Shall we go for this uh, next case? Next case is your modulus operator. So modulus means any idea what it will do, what will be the output we will get? Reminder. Reminder. That means we will be able to get only the reminder from the output, right? So that's why it's called as modulus operator. So same, it will perform this specific uh, what division operation and then it will get in the remainder only. Okay, so now let me show you. We need to use percentile symbol. Okay, so always modulus operator, not only in Python, everywhere modulus operators are there. So we'll be using percentile symbol. So one, now what will be the output I will get remainder in the sense? Once. Once. I will be able to get only one. Clear? So let me execute this case. Three threes are nine. Balance one. Understood? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, this is simple game. Only in numerics you can able to perform. Only maximum in whole numbers only. Maximum in integers only. Not in float also because division always will be in whole numbers. Sometimes complex. Okay. Fine. What is power? Power in the sense final operator in mathematics. Power means square of the number. Raise it to that number. Square or simply like a to the power b. Okay, though whatever the things you are giving at the first, that will be the number, and then second value will be the power of power for that specific number. Okay, so for example, if I give 10 to the power of 3 in the sense 10 cube. Okay, 10 cube, what will be the output? 1000. 1000. 1000. 10 cube, 1000. Okay, so automatically. Likewise, if I give 4, 5, anything, any value, whatever the value I'm giving, so based upon that, I'll be able to get the output in the power. Clear? Okay, so mostly we'll be using this addition, multiplication, division. Okay, rare cases we will use this case, those things, mathematics also, fine, right, so any doubt in mathematics, this is very, very simple, basic thing, no need to work much on this, but try once, okay, at least one time, completely with all the inputs, all the data type inputs, try once, okay, you need to understand which one is possible, which one is not possible, what type of error we are getting that you need to understand, clear, for that, practice only one time, right, Okay, sir. Fine. Next, logical. We already seen. What is logical operator? 
already see it in keywords and i want to explain now and uh, and uh, what is under friends uh, true both statements are true when both inputs are true output will be true that is called and or means any one of the, the input statement is true any one statement is true any one of the statement is true the prints true sir okay so we have performed in keywords only with uh, true and or false, false. and then true. integer and string right in keyword starting what you need to do means currently you have all the data types right yes sir no yes we already seen all the data types so use all the data types to perform this and or not no need to perform not only perform and or okay what i asked you to do take three more inputs don't take only two inputs okay already in our case we have taken three inputs i think so let me show you yeah you can see here like this take three or more inputs clear yes sir and then perform the operation in if yeah. condition or somewhere like okay, simply you can print using print also you can perform or else you can use if condition anything but use all the data type inputs combinations of all the data type don't use similar data types to perform and or not combination of all other data types clear different uh, cases different uh, yes. cases you need to perform conditions okay so that one thing you need to do arithmetic and logical compulsory you need to do and then include this comparison operators also these things are very very easy like how we are doing our regular works the same case okay so what are this comparison and relation operator means to compare the values to compare the two different type inputs so what are the operators are we are having greater than or equal to not equal to equal to greater than greater than less than greater than or equal to less than or equal to equal to equal to not equal to greater than less than greater than or equal to less than or equal to right yes sir Sir, no. So use these cases also. Okay. So what it means, like in the sense, to compare the values, whether it is greater than or less than or equal to or not equal to, simply we can able to use it. Okay. We already used in our cases, so no need to explain this. Okay. We already used in our cases, right? You remember this? Already completed five times. Yes, sir. fine so what you need to do perform all these cases okay and let me know after that i will continue with the next operators next operators are simple only like assignment and membership these are basic things and bitwise will be performed with binary values okay so we need to use binary values of the specific case right so we will use that binary values clear so any doubt till now no sir no sir okay please uh, complete this and let me know before today itself i hope everyone will do this case right only these three things what you can do means you can combine this two in if condition also or you can separately you can do it as per your need but i need all the inputs all kind of data type inputs understood okay i need to see the different use cases don't okay. copy it from one person to another person i am able to see that uh, like uh, coding wise variable name wise you people are doing the copy things but don't do that clear i'm able to see in your screenshots but i'm not able to mention in the group okay i'm mentioning in the class itself so don't do that like that it will affect your career itself okay you can't able to do by programming by yourself okay when you are going to work clear so try to do by yourself try to understand if you are not understanding ping me immediately okay most of the people are pinging me okay who are all pinging me i know they also know i am clearing them doubts i am asking you they are doing additional things also extra things also they people uh, doing some people are doing additional programming also right 
so try to do like that try to perform well clear yes sir yes fine thank you we'll see tomorrow okay so regularly class will going on okay we'll complete mostly 70% uh, of python by this week and 30% balance 30% next week we'll complete okay okay thank you sir fine okay sir okay sir